Hey guys, welcome to Flag Top King. Hey, today, game day is here. T minus one day to football time. And every year I start off the season with my world famous taco dip. You guys stay tuned. All right, guys, quick little video. I'm very specific about how this happens every single year. I kick off the football season the right way. A big old thing of taco dip, and I like it exactly how I make it. No offense or buts. Not adding this, not adding that. What about this? Uh-uh. I make it the, the same way every single time. Let's get started. All right. First things first. Eight ounces of sour cream. One packet of break your tooth taco seasoning. All right. Hey, I thought you said you were making taco dip on the flat top grill. I am. Look, I'm making it, and it, we're on the flat top grill. <laughs> I've been waiting for that one for a long time. Look, you guys know all about football. And uh, this is a recipe that goes back way, way back. And of course, you can have it a thousand different ways. One pack of taco seasoning right inside your sour cream. And we're just going to mix it up really good. I don't add guacamole because I think the guacamole turns brown too quick. I'll show you in the in the end, I do not add salsa to it because I feel like the juice from the salsa runs down and soggies up the cheese. I told you I'm very specific. I make it a lot. And then I also do not add the taco seasoning to the beans. I don't like it like that. I like the taco seasoning in the sour cream. All right, easy, easy, easy put together. This is what I've got black olives that have been chopped. I've got a half of a Vidalia onion with two green onions chopped ready to go. And two of our tomatoes from the garden. They're about medium size, so you guys can just adjust the way you like it. That was one pack of jalapeno, one jar of jalapenos. But this is the kicker. It's the finely shredded cheese. You can get the thick cut, but remember, if we're matching the hatch, the chip goes in the dip a little bit easier when you got the finely shredded cheese, I'm telling you, I'm an expert at this dip. He's got this down to a science. If Every it is, year. If it is football season, we have a plate of this dip in our fridge. <laughs> and it's probably hidden behind something so that he doesn't have to share with anyone that comes over. Nobody. All right. One can of uh, refried beans. Just make a small layer of it. Make it as thin as possible. Get you a, I like the idea of getting a wide plate, okay? It makes your dipping deepness more fair the smaller your plate is the deeper your dip is and you don't really get that coverage of all the ingredients when you dip down plus nobody likes broken chippage so it's important that your chip ratio to your dip ratio stays on point all right refried beans down on the plate check Come back with your sour cream mixture. The whole thing, eight ounces in one pack. Spread that around. Same way, even and edge to edge. Just like that. Okay, that's done. Come back, whole pack. You guys can add whatever cheese you want to. I highly suggest the thinly shredded. Boom. Edge to edge, and then you're going to add the toppings you like. And I've ah, all right, here we go. Black olives first. These were sliced. I could not find the diced black olives in my store. They're out, so we got sliced, and I just rough chopped them. Spread those around, nice and even. Come back with the onion. I might not use the whole thing. I don't want to onion myself to death. Right there is probably good. I love the, the crunch of the raw onion. And then tomatoes. Okay, just like that. Put your jalapenos around there. And that is absolutely it. Now here's the secret. Like I said, I don't add the salsa at this time. I actually, when I sit down to eat it, I'll open my salsa and I'll spoon it or i'll pour it over the section i want to eat which is typically 50 percent of it at one sitting 
because if you do it too early, like I said, the salsa will separate and then your cheese will get soggy and I don't like it. Okay, all right. You gotta tell Where's the, the other, kicker? The other seat. Oh, we gotta get the kicker. Although not sponsored, I should be. Take the tortilla chips and throw them away. We're talking about Dorito nacho cheese. I know what you're thinking, what the heck. It's a combination I cannot live without. A matter of fact, I would not have my taco dip unless I have this. Absolutely not. I at least get the first one. Ah, first bite, first bite. I want all the goodies. That chip breakage. Look at there. Now it's officially football time. All right, guys, so that's the taco dip. Hey, I hope your team this year loses as much as my team does. That way we can be in the same boat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, pound the notification button. Hey, make this taco dip. Leave a comment below. Let me see what you guys think. Peace.